Cadwalder Park in Trenton, New Jersey is the last great urban park designed by the founder of American landscape design, Frederick Law Olmsted, and it's his only park in New Jersey. This year, nationwide celebrations are marking the 200th anniversary of the birth of the designer of New York Central Park, Boston's Emerald Necklace, the grounds of the U.S. Capitol, and New Jersey's own Cadwalder Park. It's just such an uh, area of beauty and uh, serenity for many of our residents who just like to come and, and dog walk or, or take a jog around the park. It's uh, a thrill to have a park that was designed by a landscape architect uh, who was the father of landscape architect in America. Frederick Law Olmsted could never quite find himself as a farmer or as a sailor who would uh, travel through, the, uh, through Europe and also through the American South, writing about what he saw. Uh, he was a public health official. He saw the public health benefits of parks where people could go and, and sort of shed their urban stresses and just walk around what, what people now call forest bathing. The, the property has some distinction even before and, and great beauty as a uh, summer retreat and an architectural place to, to put beautiful building in a, in a prime spot. Trenton City was uh, heavily industrialized from the Civil War on and the industries that, that located in Trenton proved to be very profitable. Uh, steel and wire rope and ceramics were all things that America needed. However, they were all very polluting. Public health was not so great in Trenton. They did have sewers, but there were also 20,000 outhouses. It was a very dense urban area. There was a lack of recreation. But Olmsted had the vision that a park could provide an outlet People would get dressed up to come to the park. It was a, a way to show off. Olmsted had a set of design principles that are still valid today. Uh, the curving walkways and the curving driveways, he made it look as natural as possible, even though 100% of these trees were planted. After opening to large crowds at the turn of the 20th century, Trenton's Cadwalder Park continued to evolve from Olmsted's original vision. It was thought that every park worth its salt should have a zoological park or zoo within it. And Cadwalder Park was famous for its deer paddock, which is over against Hiltonia in that direction of the park, but also its bear den. But the most famous is probably the monkey house. Someone thought it was a good idea in the WPA period to attract federal funding to convert this beautiful Italian ape mansion into a monkey house. The monkey house was closed in the 1970s, and in 1978, the restored mansion opened as the Trenton City Museum at Ellerslie. Cadwalder Park has been, and continues to be, a hub of activity. Bocce has been played here, skating on the ponds, which are up against the Hiltonia neighborhood. There was boating on the Delaware and Raritan Canal. During our summer concert series, we present at least two concerts here in the park, Saturdays and Sundays. We want to keep uh, as much as the original vision as possible, but still make modern improvements, uh, basketball courts and the like, um, the tennis courts, the tennis pavilion. Like any uh, city such as New York, they have Central Park, which was similarly designed by Frederick Olmsted. All the great cities in America um, have beautiful park system, and Trenton has 60 parks in our city, one for each of the neighborhoods, and this seems to be the a jewel in the crown. And it's the trees and the topography that make the park so special. And as the trees age out throughout the park, we are on a, an aggressive campaign to get them replanted for the next generation. We have visitors from all over that want to come and, and experience 
uh, the design that Frederick Olmsted brought to Trenton.